Let's look at polynomials. Here I have the polynomial P1 equal to 1, P2 is 2, and P3 is 17 minus 3. These polynomials are linearly dependent. That's because I can write P3 as 7 times P2 minus 3 times P1. So I was able to write the third polynomial as a linear combination of the other two. Let's consider just P3 for a little bit. This means all polynomials of degree 3 or less. So the standard basis here would be a 1, T, T squared, and T cubed. And we can see how we would expand this. For instance, P5 would be these 4, and then also T to the 4th and T to the 5th. Now let's consider these four polynomials. These are the first four Laguerre polynomials. And I want to show they form a basis for P3 as well. For this, I'm actually going to build a matrix. So I'm going to talk about how to do this. Each column should be one of my polynomials. So we're going to have four columns for each of these four polynomials given here. And each of my rows should be coefficients of a different uh, exponent for t, so t cubed, t squared, t, and this will be the coefficients of 1, or the constants. My first polynomial is a 1, 0 t squared, 0 t, 0 t squared, 0 t cubed. My next one is a 1, minus 1 t, 0 t squared, 0 t cubed. My third one is a 2, minus 4t, minus 1t squared, plus 0t cubed. Then I have 6, 18t, 9t squared, minus 1t cubed. And you can see this is already in row echelon form. And I have a pivot in every row and every column. So this would form a basis, since they are all linearly independent and it does span.